Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to count the number of digits in Excel cells. Like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. Let's look at such a simple example. We have a range of cells with only numbers in them. The length function is perfect for solving this problem. This function returns the length of a text string in a cell as a numeric value. We enter the function into the cell and select the cell in which we will count the characters. Press Enter, pull the formula down, and the function counts all the numbers inside the cells. It would seem that everything is fine, but if there is text in the cell, other characters, commas, dots, brackets, or for example there is a fractional number in a cell, then in such conditions length function will count not only the numbers, but also all the characters that are in the cell. And we only need numbers. To count the numbers in such conditions we will need a more complicated formula, namely the array formula. We we'll leave the land function, then write the minus sign, again land function, its argument is the substitute function, and inside the substitute function the first argument is the h2 cell, and the second argument is an array of all possible numbers from 1 to 0 in curly brackets. The third argument is nothing in quotes. Close the brackets and all possible results are summed up by the sum function. That's what we got. Let's take an example. There are four characters in the cell. The first function len return the length of the text in the cell, that is 4. The len function in the second part of the formula still returns the length of the text from the cell, only taking into account the substitute function. In the first case, substitute function didn't find anything and didn't change. Then len function returned the value of 4. In the second case, the len function found the number 7 and replaced it with a nothing, which means that len function will return the value of 3, since there is one less character in the cell. And since we have an array formula, we get four equations, the results of which we add up and get the total number of numbers in the cell, despite the other characters in the cell. We pull the formula down and, as you can see, it counts the number of digits in the cells perfectly. That's all, now you know a little more, thanks for watching.